We lift your name. 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 Let's worship him. Power and might. say we should do is what I just did now. The Lord said we should give him thanks, we should praise him. And before I will lead us in the remaining time, every one of us, you will leave your comfort zone. You will roll. Go and find somewhere to roll three times. Everyone in this house. On Sunday, we are going to do it also. 
the Lord say he has given three of us here today, I'm number one, victory over sudden death. So he said we should roll before him three times. He said three people in this place. You meet yourself in a tomb, in the burial ground. The Lord said he took you out of that burial ground. He said we should roll before him. Three, so you leave your comfort zone, if it is back there, whatever, the place is too big. So me and mommy will stay on the altar. You roll three times. You give glory to God. That Lord, I thank you. Roll it. When you are rolling it, you are sending it back to the sender. As one it So you are sending that spirit of death back to the sender. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Jesus' name we have obeyed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The first prayer point I want us to pray. We know that this month of March is the month of vision fulfillment. And when vision is about to fulfill, devil will raise his ugly head. He can send untimely dead. He can send premature dead. It can send sudden dead. When vision is about to come to fulfillment. In Exodus 8, verse 8 to 18, you will talk to God. Lord, let my enemy see your finger. Fight my enemy with your finger. Destroy the plans and the powers of my enemy with your finger. Now the magicians so work with their enchantments to bring forth lies, but they could not. So there were lies on man and beast. The magician said to Pharaoh, the enemy has no power over our destiny. This is the finger of who? Of God. But Pharaoh's heart grew hard, and he did not heed them, just as the Lord has said. Stand on your feet. Say, my father. My father. Say, my father. my father. Show my enemy your finger. Destroy the plans of my enemy by your finger. Terminate untimely dead in my life by your finger. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord Jesus, show my enemy your finger in the name of Jesus. Show my enemy, show my enemy your finger. Let my enemy see the finger of God. Let every power waging war against me begin to see the finger of God. Let every witches and wizard, witchcraft begin to see the finger of God. Let every demonic abalic, satanic abalic see the finger of God. Lord Jesus, every 
every demonic arrow, every satanic arrow fired against me. Let them begin to see the finger of God. Lord Jesus, I pray, let my enemy begin to see the finger of God. Oh Lord, let them begin to see the finger of God. Deal with my enemy with your finger. Brethren, begin to pray. Begin to pray, my Lord. Father, by your finger, deal with my enemy. By your finger, silence their plan and their power. Lord, disconnect their satellite by your finger. Lord Jesus, claw the heart of my enemy by your finger. Remove the, remove the fuse of their heart by your finger. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Brethren, talk to God this morning. Talk to God this morning. The Lord, my Father, show my enemy your finger. Let them see the other side of my God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Exodus 31, verse 18, you want to ask God this morning, say, Father, when we read this in the prayer, rewrite my story with your finger. Touch my destiny with your finger. Don't you know by the finger of God, he gave Moses the Ten Commandments. The word of God says, and when he had made an end of speaking with him on Mount Sinai, God can speak, God can touch, God can handle every form of cases. But here, when he had made the end of speaking with him on Mount Sinai, he gave Moses two tablets of the testimony, tablet of stone written with the finger of God. Raise up your finger, this finger, raise it up. Say, my father. My father. I cannot hear you say, my father. my father. Rewrite my story with your finger. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Father, rewrite my story with your finger. Change my destiny with your finger. Change my glory with your finger. Open your mouth, brethren, begin to pray. Rewrite my story. Rewrite my story. Rewrite my story. Rewrite my story with your finger. As we wrote the Ten Commandments for Moses, Lord Jesus on Mount Sinai, I call upon you. This is the prayer point that you laid in my heart today. Rewrite my story with your finger. Rewrite Rewrite the story of the new life in Christ more with your finger. Rewrite the story of my wife with your finger. Rewrite the story of our children, home and abroad, their wife, their husband, our grandchildren with your finger. Rewrite the story of the new life in Christ more with your finger. Brethren, welcome to begin to ask God right now. Father, rewrite my story. Rewrite my story. Change my destiny with your finger right now. You are a destiny changer. Father, by your finger. Lord Jesus, to you to roll the Ten Commandments, oh Lord Jesus, for Moses in Mount Sinai. Lord, rewrite my story. Rewrite my story. Lord, open a new chapter for me right now. Lord Jesus, open a new chapter. Father, open a new chapter. Lord Jesus, open a new chapter. King of glory, open a new chapter. Lord of Lord, open a new chapter. Father, the condition I am, I did not want it to Lord. Give me better condition give me better condition oh lord better condition in my life rewrite my story brethren pray remain two minutes for you to pray talk to him right now lord rewrite my story lord jesus 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 rewrite my story by the power in the blood of jesus rewrite my story in the name of jesus Rewrite my story. 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 Father, let my story be rewrite today by your finger. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Exodus. 1425 Exodus 
And he took off their chariots wheels so that they drove them with difficult, difficulty. And the Egyptians said, Let flee from the face of Israel, for the Lord fight for them against Egyptians. I think when I was in the office, I saw, I hear it when Pastor Mike was singing this song. Let God arise and let my enemies be scattered. Let God arise and my enemies be scattered. Let God arise and my enemies O oh Lord, O oh Lord, all right. Don't you know that sickness can be your enemy? Disease can be your enemy. Frustration can be our enemy. It is not an enemy like friend, whatever. Anything that won't allow you to be happy, anything that won't bring joy into your life, whatever thing that won't allow the promise of God to come to pass, the month, this month, the month of fulfillment, whatever thing that will not allow the vision of God to come to fulfillment. A brother used to come to our house here, and I don't know that the brother is expecting something. Each time that he come to the house of God, you will see in him quietness, unhappy. But we finish, uh, is it all Lord dancing on Saturday? Is it all Lord dancing on Saturday? That the Lord said we should ask that before the end of this month, when I'm coming for Olua Dasimi next month, when the brother we got home, what he has been expecting for over years, he got it on his doorpost. Everything just changed dramatically. And the friend who told me says, the brother began to smile for the first time. Amen. I want to pray. I want to pray. Anything can be our enemy. Whatever thing that won't bring joy, whatever thing that can change the plan and the pattern of God upon our life, whatever certain thing that can come and change your own plan. He said, then the Lord said to most, no, no, no. Give me verse 25, that 25. And he took off their, their, their chariot wheels so that they drove them with difficulties. And the Egyptians said, let us live from the face of Israel for the Lord fight for them against Egyptian. You want to ask God this morning, please pray. This prayer, say, my father, in the name of Jesus, stand by me and fight for me. Open your mouth and begin to pray, my Lord, stand by me and fight for me. Your word said they will fight, but they will not prevail against me. Lord Jesus, your word said they will fight against me, but they will not prevail against me. Lord Jesus, fight for me. Stand by me. Stand by your church. Lord, fight for your church in the name of Jesus. My Lord Jesus, fight for me. Internal confidence, fight for me. King of glory, fight for me. Brethren, why can't you begin to pray, O oh Lord, fight for me. My Lord Jesus, fight for me. King of glory, fight for me. Jehovah Nisse, fight for me, O oh God. Let God arise. Let all my enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let all my enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let all my enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let all my enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let all my enemies be scattered. Lord Jesus arise, let them be scattered. By the power in the blood of Jesus, fight my battle in this month, O oh God. Let every vision, O oh Lord, come to fulfillment. Whatever thing that will allow the vision to come to fulfillment, deal with them, O oh Lord Jesus, my Lord. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. The enemies of God, my Lord, and my God. The enemies of the no life in Christ means the enemies of God arise, O oh God. Let them be scattered by the power in the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Psalm 51, verse 7. One of our pastors, when we are praying yesterday night between 11 and 1 o'clock, he called this prayer point. And when we finished yesterday, before I, I left the place we pray, 
I begin to digest about this Psalm 51 verse 7. And that our pastor explained about porch. And I stood for about five to ten minutes. I repeat the prayer after we are finished. I want you to pray. He said porch because the pastor said he used when you are having a running stomach. When you go to toilets frequently, you will nearly you will nearly purge your intest, isn't it? So he explained it yesterday. So when we finish, I digest on that word and I stood on it for about 10, 15 minutes. I pray myself before I went to my bed. He said, purge me with Aesop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Then Matthew 15 verse 12 and 13. I want us to pray. The prayer is, Lord, whatever thing that enemies have hiding in my system, purge them out. Purge them out. Then his disciple came and said to him, that is our prayer. Do you know that the Pharisees were offended when they heard this saying? When you dress normal, they offended. Amen. When you make your Mary Kay, maybe it is Mary Kay that you used to cover your nakedness, cover your secrets, they will begin to be uh, angry. They can fire arrow. They will be thinking evil. Amen. Amen. But Jesus said, but he answered and said, every plant which my heavenly father has not planted shall be what? Be uprooted. You will talk to God. Demonic plant that the enemies are planting to my future into my system, program my destiny. Lord, let them be uprooted. Whatever evil plantation, purge them out. Making two prayer points. Then in Matthew 21 verse 12, Matthew 21 verse 12, we are still on that purge. He says, verse 12, he says, then Jesus went to the temple of God. Who are the temple of God? Where is the temple of God? We are the temple of God. The Bible, God himself says, we are the temple of God. As God himself have said it. So Jesus demonstrated here, not physical temple, but our own temple. Because if any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. Then Jesus went to the temple of God and drove out all those who bought and sold in the temple and overturned the table of the money changers and the seat of those who sold doves. Say, my father, I combine this scripture together. Purge me out now. Whatever thing that is against your will in my system, in my life, whatever pain, whatever evil arrow, Father, purge it out now. Purge me out, O oh Lord. Lord, begin to uproot right now every plant that my Heavenly Father has not planted into my system. I've not planted into my chest, into my back, into my hand, to my leg. Purge them out, O oh Lord. Let them be uprooted. Come into my temple, my Lord Jesus, with your blood, my Father. O oh Lord, draw drive out whatever thing buy and selling. Anything buy and selling that will not bring me joy in my system. Lord Jesus my father, chase them out oh God by your blood, by fire. Chase them out by Holy Ghost 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 fire. Purge me oh Lord my father, pour me with his of Lord Jesus, wash me I shall be wetter than snow whatever thing that is not in another in my system, Lord, that will allow me to serve you, that will allow me to complete my assignment on earth, Father, purge them out now, brethren, talk to God my Lord, purge them out, purge them out, Jehovah Nisse, pour them out, Jehovah Jare pour them out, Lily of the Valley pour them out, oh Lord God, my father, purge them out now. Purge me out now. Purge me, oh God. Purge me, oh Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Three more prayer points. This month is the month of vision fulfillment. Genesis 18, verse 9 to 14. 
Genesis verse Genesis 18 verse 9 to 14 praise God tell your husband he will receive a call from Nigeria tell him if you want to reply them he should apply wisdom what did I say please tell him I saw when he's replying I saw smoke coming out from his mouth and it was it was shaking it was boiling you understand tell him that the Lord said he should answer with wisdom the Lord want to fight for him but if he answer them wrongly or rudely or roughly something will happen tell him that the Lord said he should answer them with then they said to him, Where is Sarah your wife? So he said, Here in the tent. The Lord will locate you where you are. Amen. And every vision that God has given to you will come to manifestation. Amen. They are asking, they know where Sarah is. Is the Lord that sees. You understand? The Bible says his eyes is looking through and through. So why is it asking for Sarah? When he entered into the Garden of Eden, he know where they are. Has he not told us in the book of Psalms that David said, if I go into the, into the, into the cave, you are there. If I ask the mountain to follow me, you are there. Inside the hose, you are there. Isn't it? He sees everything. But he said, Adam, where are are you? He knows where they are. He knows where Sarah is. Why is he asking for Sarah? I pray heaven will ask for you today. Amen. Heaven will locate where we are today Amen. to settle our case, Amen. to bring that vision to come to fulfillment Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. He knew where Seraphat is. First King 17. He told Elijah, go to Seraphat. There's a particular woman. They are here, here. This is where you are going to meet him. He told Elijah, go along the road, the street. When you bend, you go straight, you turn left, you will see Elisha. He knew where we are. I pray if you can say louder, amen. You and I, this day, the Lord will locate us. The Lord will fish us out for our vision to come to fulfillment. For all his promise upon our life to come to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus. He knew where David is. When he asked Samuel to go and anoint someone for him in Jesus' house. And he told Samuel, they are not this, no, this is not the one. And Samuel asked, is, is, are there any of your child again? They said there is one in the farm. He knew where, 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 where the animal that Saul is going to look for. He is the one who kept that animal because he wants to prove himself to Israelites to give them a king. He kept the animal. Saul went out to go and look for it and before he arrived he told Samuel I'm sending someone to you tomorrow anointing king over Israel and when Saul appeared he spoke to him again this is the person I'm talking to you I pray your angel when he, when he, when he appeared to you he will not mistake you in Jesus name that your blessing will not give to another that promise will not give to another that, that vision will not give to another. Your angel will locate where you are. Your angel will know your postcode. Your angel will know your number. Your angel will call you and you will answer him. He said, where is Sarah? Where is Sarah? Why do you leave the place? Please go back to where I am. Amen. Media place, if I didn't say you should leave some place, don't leave the place. Number nine. Then they said to him, where is Sarah your wife? So he said, here in the tent. Yes, number ten now. Has he not the, the same God who told Moses in the book of Exodus, look, your brother Aaron is coming to meet you. He will be happy when he see you say god sees me god. 
Say, God knows me. Say, Father, visit me. And he said that we certainly return to you according to time of life. And behold, Sarah, your wife shall have a son. Sarah was listening in the tent, door which was behind him. Yes, what happened? Verse 11. Now Abraham and Sarah were old, well advanced in age. And Sarah had passed the age of childbearing. Whatever you have lost, if you can say it louder, amen, you will recover then. We will recover then. We will recover then. The year that will be wasted, the week that will be wasted, the month that will be wasted, the day that will be wasted, hours and me that will be wasted, we will recover them. In the mighty name of Jesus. They were, they said, Abraham and Sarah were old, well advanced in age and Sarah had passed the age of Shadbian, yes? Therefore Sarah loved within him herself, saying, after I have grown old, shall I, shall, I, shall I have pleasure, my Lord be old also. Then he said, and the Lord said to Abraham, why did Sarah laugh? Sarah say, shall I sure be a child since I am old? Why did why God know that Sarah laughed? When they were, he, the Sarah that he asked for. Then Sarah was not with them. Why did he know that Sarah loved? Why did he know the mind of Sarah? That Sarah said, can I be a child? I pray your vision will come to pass. In this month of March, that the, 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 the month of vision fulfillment, you and I, and the new life in Christ ministry, our vision will come to fulfillment. And the Lord said to Abraham, why did Sarah laugh? Saying, shall I sure be a, a child since I am old? 14, is anything too hard for me, too hard for the Lord? At the appointed time, I will return to you according to the time of life. And Sarah shall have a son. Then get me verse, uh, chapter, chapter 21, verse 1 and 2. Genesis 21, verse 1 and 2. And the Lord visited Sarah as he has said. And the Lord did for Sarah as he has spoken. What happened in verse 2? For Sarah conceived and bore Abraham his son in his old age at the set time of which God has spoken to him. Open your mouth and stand up. I want you to pray. Say, my father let my vision come to pass let my promises come to pass open your mouth and begin to tell God visit me right now every good vision let them come to pass my Lord and my God I am before you right now let my vision come to pass let every vision come to pass let every vision come to pass let every vision come to pass my Lord Jesus let the vision come to pass whatever vision every good promise concerning my life let them come to pass in the mighty name of jesus my father let my vision come to pass oh god my father let my vision come to pass in the mighty name of jesus let them come to pass 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 in the name of jesus thank you holy spirit blessed be the holy name for in jesus name we are prayed Sister, before you will, before you will try, please try to see me. And let me tell you what is going to happen. So be, maybe when you come, I may forget. As I receive it now, your garment that you have, that you have used, that you love most, garment that you have used, that you love more, that you are not using it again. So when you come to me, I will explain to you. You will take it along with you when you get to Nigeria. You are going to use it to do some spiritual work, and I will tell you what to do. Share the book. So when you come to me in my office, not today, before you will go, I will tell you what the Lord want to tear some kingdom off your life, your, your knowledge kingdom. The Lord want to tear it off. Because they told so that your kingdom have taught in Israel. You understand? The Lord want to tear it off. You understand? Before you go, you see me. You come. So come on back, back,
Praise God. Amen. Amen. I want us to praise. And if you would pray the prayer, stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Say, my father, my father. Where, I am, where I am, you know the place. Visit me. Settle my case. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Father, visit me and settle my case. My Lord God Almighty, visit me and settle my case. Oh Lord God, my Father, visit me and settle my case. My case needed to be settled. Oh my Father, my Lord and my God, visit me. Lord Jesus, visit me. Lord Jesus, visit me. Lord Jesus, visit me and settle my case, oh God. My case needed to be settled. My Father, visit me and settle my case. Oh, Jehovah, visit me. You know my place. You know my postcode. Send my angel to me. Let every vision come to fulfillment. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. The man at the back, Pastor, please come. The man at the back. Quickly, sir, quickly, quickly, quickly. Are you working at moment? No. He will be in the house of God for three days. He will come in the morning, nine o'clock. You will leave this place six o'clock. So before you will leave, you pray for him. You will have three days fasting and prayer, sir, with a bottle of water, that small water, or let me break. What did I say? Three days. I arrange with him. Nine o'clock. Either here or here or there or here. Front seat. The Lord says you pray. I will give you the assignment. The Lord says you pray that any white junimi oluama gen The Lord want to do something. He want to do something for you for that three days, sir. You understand? You make sure that nine o'clock, Agomesa Ulu Banyimbi, then to bat parini six, you can go. Then I'm gonna pray for you. I will tell you what to do. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. My daughter, come. I'm sending you to Frank. Has he come? Has he come? Okay, tell him to see me. There's a hand that follow him here. That's why I'm always asking him, asking for him, where I see, where I see, where I see. You understand? He did not supposed to travel. So tell him to see me. I didn't know that he's back. Let's stand up. We want to pray. Vision fulfillment. Vision fulfillment. Vision fulfillment. Come. Do you want to give birth successfully? It's a question, no? Eba mi bi, eni shofa e bi la yo. E kwe ko. E le ke tati mo re re. Ma, the Lord says she caution him herself before she will deliver. O ju me talon shwe. One from Nigeria, two from this country. Ojumeta, loan show. Chengbo, between now and the time you will give birth, the law says you lock up your mouth. Don't poke nose into anybody's affairs. Secondly, from this moment, You'll be getting a bottle of water. You'll be reading Psalm 24 three times on it from today. And you bring in it for me to bless it. You will drink it at once. toku. If you doing till you will give birth. The Lord says he promised you will give birth successfully. But I say three. Isis that is struggling with you and they are fighting with God. 
And the Lord God said to me, the way the battle can be, can be won is to close her mouth. You understand? I want to tell you privately, God said I should say it out. Evil will not occur to you. So a bottle of water, Psalm 24, read it three times every day. Make sure you see me and I bless it. If I'm not here, Pastor Mike will bless it for you. Drink it, pour it into your tummy. Let some touch your cord. We will see either they have power or your God have power. You understand? And when the baby, when the baby comes in your husband's house, he shall come and shall You understand? You will know that God is on the throne. Yes, Am I going to be reading it every day? Now? Every day. Tabati Cassandra, every day. What the mutant Tabati Badrasi, what does you point? I can't do it. What do you mean? The two two mafi bima. Let's stand and pray. Let's stand up and pray. Exodus, um, Ezekiel 12, 25 to 28. We will soon stop. Remain one. Exodus, Ezekiel 12, 25 to 28. Praise God. Just, just before the end of this month, Egbolojiao, Ken Mowi, Tobati Dele called me, and I will warn him. Shengbo, any time that your door and his door want to open, what a big Iwa. Any time because you people are crying, he's crying that the door is about to open. And when that thing is gone, he made it get it to you can. Yes or no? Praise God. Oga, a small one. Oga, a small one. Oga, a small one. Something says, let me go out as before. And the Bible recorded, he did not know that God is no more with him. A small honor. You have used in wisdom before, knowledge before, understanding before, it did not work. When God want to fight against the Syria, when Jehoshaphat uh, when um, uh, say just no, when God want to fight against yeah, the Syria, the law cause rumor in their tent. They are hearing rumor. They are hearing noise of soldiers. And God's useful lep when God wants to bring the vision to come to pass, what Elisha have said in the book of First King, Second King 7, he caused rumor in the, in the camp of the Syrian. And they said, the king of Egypt, whatever, whatever, have hired soldiers against them. One boy rumor, one boy rumor, say. One boy That is what God can do for you. In Second Chronicle 14, from verse 10, when God want to, want to help the uh, uh, Azar to fight the battle, Ethiopia hear rumor and they fell. In the book of 2 Chronicles 20, from verse 1 to 23, God himself came down when they begin to praise and worship and lay ambush. Moab, Amotes, and Monsyria, they turned again themselves. One one read, I won't be... Joseph had to be on my Israeli one could say, Oh, he won it pam, 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 until they kill themselves. God knows the way he can fight. A small one, sir. Amen. For I am the Lord I speak, and the work which I speak will come to pass. It will no more be postponed for in your days. Oh, rebellion house. 
I will say the word and perform it. Say the Lord God. This is the last we are going to pray. Again, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, look, the house of the new life in Christ is saying, the vision that he sees is for many days from now, and he prophesies of times far off. Yes, therefore says to them, Thou say the Lord, none of my word will be postponed. Say amen to that anymore. But the word which I speak will be done, say the Lord God. Yes. And the word of the Lord came to me saying, no, 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 that is 12, 12 is okay. Then in Matthew 8, 16 and 17, somebody say fulfillment. Amen. I cannot hear say fulfillment. Amen. Your vision will come to manifestation. Amen. Your prophecy will come to manifestation. Amen. Likewise, me and my wife and my household will come to manifestation. Every vision concerning this church I come to manifestation. Either the devil like it or not, we come to manifestation. Every plans of the devil against us in this church, I cancel it. Every satanic imagination, I cancel it. I'm always saying something. When God said to me that the new life in Christ will go around the whole world in my own day, there is no any amount of arrow they can shoot. Though the wind can blow, until when the new life in Christ ministry go round, and before we go round, I will clock my 120. I decree upon your life, you will not die before your vision. You will not die before your glory. You will not die before your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. When evening have come, they brought to him many who were demon possessed, and he cast out the spirit with a word and healed all who were sick. Now, verse 17 says that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Asia the prophet, saying, He himself took our infirmity and bore our sickness, that it might be fulfilled. What the prophet has spoken in Old Testament, it came to fulfillment after how many years? And we know that the Bible said between Malachi and the book of Matthew, God silent for 400 years before the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. So how many years is that? And it came to fulfillment. Stand on your feet. I want to pray. This is last, but it's not the least. I want you to lay your two hands upon your head. Say my head. Say my head. Don't receive evil. Say my head. Rejected evil offer. Let every promises concerning me begin to come to pass now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. My hair reject evil, reject evil, reject the offer, reject now any any agenda of the devil. My hair reject it. Let every let every vision in my life come to fulfillment. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. My destiny will not die. My future will not die. My glory will not die but live and fulfill and fulfill and, 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 and fulfill the glory of God. My ministry will not die. My calling will not die. Brethren, begin to pray. Oh Lord, in verse 17 of Matthew, that will come to fulfillment. Every vision in my life shall come to fulfillment. Every glory, Lord, you shall come to fulfillment. Oh Lord, in my own day, everything that God has spoken concerning me, all shall come to fulfillment in Jesus' name. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. My Father Lord, I pray, I shall not die. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. My Father Lord, let there be divine healing. Save me, I shall be saved, O Lord Jesus, because you are my praise. Lord, set to this church. 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 Thank you, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Blessed be the holy name. For in Jesus' name we are praying. For in Jesus' wonderful, mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Our offering and tithe. Our offering and tithe. I saw someone when we are praying in this place. I know that fellow very well. You are sleeping on a mat in the spirit. You're on a mat sleeping. And I saw a hand in your father's house. You always meet yourself in the, in, the, in the room that you have left years ago. And you always sleep on the mat. You always sleep on the mat. But when we are praying for fulfillment, I saw a I saw hand that carry you like a baby. 
and they took you and put you on a decorated bed. From that mat on a decorated bed. Then when you when when you on that bed now you can stretch your hand your leg your your so when you wake up you wake up everything was very easy. Some that some that person is a, she's a woman. I know you, but they did, not, they did not ask me to point my finger out to you. I know you very well. Go and write it down. Things is about to change. Things is about to change. Things is about to change. So shall it be. If you want to pay your tithe, please come forward. Your tithe and your offering. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. You are the owner of my soul. Alpha Omega, you are worthy to be praised. In our generation, there is no one like you. Alpha Omega, you are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. You are the owner of my soul. Alpha Omega, you are worthy to be praised. In our generation, there is no one like you. Alpha Omega, you are worthy. Father Lord, we say thank you this afternoon. Father Lord, we bless your name, O Lord. Father Lord, we present a offering unto you, O Lord. Father Lord, bless the hands that have provided this, O Lord. Jehovah Lord, we pray, O Lord. Father, for all what we have asked, O Lord. Lord, let it be granted and let it be acceptable, O Lord. Father, for those that desire to give, Father Lord, bless and meet their needs, O Lord. Father, we pray, O Lord. Father Lord, this month, this year, Joe Lord, dear Lord, meet us at the point of our needs, O Lord. We reject anything evil, O Lord. Father Lord, we cry unto you, O Lord, because you said we should ask, and it shall be given to us. Every of our heart desire, that which you have promised us, Father Lord, let it come to manifestation, O Lord. Father, we pray, O Lord, help our helpless, O Lord, and let your name, O Lord, be glorified. Father, we present this offering to you, unto, unto you, O Lord. Let it be acceptable. Let it be acceptable, O Lord. We sanctify it, O Lord, in the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. On Saturday is our men's and ladies' uh, breakfast. Um, Sister Tracy, has anybody come to you, the people that have promised last year, some people promised last year, and I asked you to write their name down. Did you write it down last year? Are they come to you? So, there you call them. They promised. So that is why we did announce it. So tell them that Saturday must be blossom. So Saturday is our men's and ladies' uh, breakfast. Invite your friends and your colleagues. Uh, I think 10 o'clock is the breakfast. Then 11 o'clock, we come inside the church. We have some guests that we are nurture us with a spiritual food also. I think by 2 o'clock, you will finish. 2 o'clock is finished. So 10 o'clock is the breakfast to 11 o'clock. If you come five minutes after 11, you will not see any food to eat. It shall be well with you in Jesus' name. So please, let's come uh, together to dine with Jesus. 
is breakfast food in the book of John 21. When Jesus met his disciple, he asked them, children, do you have food there? And they said, no. Then he prepared food for them. So it is ready, red made food. I was reading the book of Exodus 16 when God led the Israelites. And I got a message that God can feed you. God can feed us. He's the best cooker. He's the best cooker so far. All over the world, God is the best cooker. Amen. So please, let's come together and dinner with him. He shall be well with us. And please, if you promise us with the pledge of the uh, project in the house of God, by end of this month, they are coming to finish everything. And I don't want them to finish. And they begin to pursue us up and down. God will bless God will strengthen you people. I can see that you love the church and you are trying your best. Please, if you promise and you have not yet fulfilled it, please try to remember. It shall be well with us. And I said to the people that can want to paint the old church for us, and the sister have come out, but it's not enough what she promised, but he has not given it to us. So we still need more people that, Daddy, I want God to paint my color also. And if you can't come, you can come to Mommy. So please, we not only in the church alone, because when they remove all this fluorescent, they are going to remove the fluorescent. We are going to have um, the rand bulb. So it will have holes, and you know, and they are still going to uh, cover the hole before they paint it or the corridor because of our convention. We are going to paint everything up till our kitchen. So please and please, if you want to be part of the people that will paint the church, there's a family that painted the church, I think, five years ago. There's a family that came here, the man and his wife. Every night, I didn't know. I just came here one night to come and do vigil. And I saw them. I didn't know that they took key from Donny by then. They always come in in the night to paint. Go and look at what God is doing in their life now. The two family, husband and wife, they always come in the night since five years. They painted this place. And we are still enjoying it tomorrow. So it shall be well with us. And after they have done it, go and look at, they are still, still our member. They are still our member. And God is colored their life. Since then, God is always colored their life. It shall be well with us in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Let's stand up and share the grace together in fellowship. We have our Bible study in the evening. If you can't come to the church, please connect. If you see, they will send all the the link out, connect for the Bible study. Shall we share the grace in fellowship? The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, or the sweet fruit of the Holy Spirit, be with me right now. Surely his goodness and mercy shall follow me. All the days of my life shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. He shall be well with you in Jesus' name. God bless you.